Hi, this is Jeff Clothier, your ground superintendent for the golf courses in Incline Village. As we get into the fall, people start asking us about the closing dates and why we set a closing date ahead of time. We obviously want to get as many golfers out onto the courses as we can before these dates, but the real reason we have these closures is to give us ample time to prep the courses for all the uncertainty our winter season ahead can bring us and to ensure proper growth for playing conditions when we reopen in the spring. With a very short growing season, it's important to prepare as best we can in the fall for the amount of play we receive during the season. There's a lot of maintenance we can do while still operating, but there are crucial steps we must take to prep the courses before the first snow to give ourselves the best chances possible for good conditions in the spring. Around early to mid-September, we aerate the tee surfaces on both courses, put amendments and seed down, and top dress them with sand, as this procedure can be done without interrupting golf or drastically affecting the playing surfaces. The purpose of aeration is to relieve soil compaction, remove excess thatch, allow good air and gas exchange in the soil, and allow water and nutrients into the so soil profile easier. And in a year like this with so much cart traffic, aeration helps ease the stress and wear and tear of the turf. Once we're closed, the first step is aerating the greens with a core aerator that goes down about three inches. The machine pulls the core and then a sweeper cleans those up and we apply soil amendments and cover the green in sand to fill the holes and smooth the surface. About a week later, we aerate the greens a second time down to a depth of about 10 inches, and those holes are left open for the winter. This aids in winter and spring drainage with the goal to help prevent a potentially damaging ice layer from forming. Ice can be lethal for turf, especially if the ice layer exists for an extended period of time. At the same time, we start fairway and rough aeration with three larger machines that can cover more ground quickly. We then have a machine that processes the cores, chewing those up, and we'll drag them back in and blow the surface off. We apply soil amendments and on the championship course we'll also apply a layer of sand to the fairways. These are all very important practices for us to be able to get prepared for the next season. Along with aeration are many other important practices such as draining and blowing out the irrigation systems, improvement projects on golf course infrastructure and irrigation systems, and application of plant protectants to prevent winter disease such as snow mold on greens, tees, and fairways. Since it's practically impossible to predict the fall for winter season ahead, it's crucial for us to have the time necessary to complete these practices in order to give us the best chance at future spring and summer conditions. If we weren't able to conduct these procedures in the fall, we risk more severe winter damage and a longer time to get into awesome conditions for the following golf season.